Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. So if you didn't realise, yesterday was my birthday. I literally had the best day ever. We went to London. But I'm just going to show you guys what I actually bought when I was up there. Um, and I first want to say I did make my first ever designer purchase. And it was quite a big special moment for me. So I wanted to kind of dedicate a whole video to that. Um, rather than including it in this haul. So just want to say I did make a designer purchase, but that's going to be in next week's video. So stay tuned for that to find out what it was and where it was from. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this haul. The first place we went to was Victoria's Secret and it was the big one on Bond Street. And I love Victoria's Secret, however, I never normally buy that much in there. I don't think I've ever bought anything on the one in Bond Street just because it's always just insanely busy and it's just so hard to shop in there. However, this time it wasn't too busy. I think because we went there first, it wasn't like unbearable. So I actually managed to pick up a few things which I was really pleased about. I'm going to show you guys what I bought from Victoria's Secret. The first thing I that caught my eye was this t-shirt. However, it had one of the models with her bra and knickers on on it and I was a bit like that's a bit weird for me to be walking around with that on my top and then as I was walking around I saw this top and it had the angels on it and obviously they're just on their phones texting and it says at the bottom angels in sparkly gold and I just thought this was a bit more <laughs> of an appropriate one. However, I thought it was really cool. And if you watch my what I got for my birthday, I got a few pairs of lounge bottoms and I thought this would go really well with them. But then I also would wear this out just because it's not as risque as the other top that I was going to get. I love the Victoria's Secret fashion show. It's one of my favorite things to watch. Um, and the next thing I got <laughs> was the five for 25 deal on Nick Knox. I'm actually gonna show them to you guys because I don't really care. I'm just gonna. I didn't get any thongs. I don't like thongs, but I just got some knickers and I'm just gonna show you to, them to you because they're cute. So the first pair I got were these pink stripy ones, and then the waistband says just says Victoria's Secret. The second pair I got were also pink, and they say Victoria's Secret, and they have silver sparkles going around them i thought they were really cute um burgundy ones well these are like a purpley color and here it says vs in a light pink i then got these pink and navy ones and then and they've got little hearts on them and then on the back it says angels i thought they were really cute and then lastly i got this really cute dusky pink pair with the lace on the top so yeah i i've never done the 5 for 25 deal in victoria's secret i've always wanted to but i thought it's my birthday I'm allowed to spend £25 on knickers. And the final thing I got, I am so excited about, and I'm also quite like, quite guilty because I spent £75 on a pair of pyjamas. And for me, that is way too much. But at the time I was just like, it's my birthday. I'm just gonna do it, you know? I, I've seen these around like in halls and stuff and I've just wanted them because they were the, um, these are the pyjamas that all the angels wear. And I just thought, I saw them, and I was like, I'm going to have to get them. They are the silk, they are the silk um, shirt pyjamas. They look like this. They've got, like, grey black detailing, and they're silky and pink. And they're just me in a pair of pyjamas, to be honest. And then the bottoms have a cute grey bow, and they are flared. But let's be honest, flared pyjamas are always the comfiest, so... I'm pleased about that. And then we popped into Laudre and we were actually planning on eating in there, like having lunch in there. However, the one that we went to, we didn't realize, but it was a really small one and there was only seats outside and it was really cold outside and it was more of like a walk in and walk out thing. But my mum said, oh, we'll, we'll get some macarons from there and I've always wanted Laudre macarons. <laughs> this is what they look like. They're so cute. I haven't eaten one yet. So I got raspberry, um, what's this one? Passion fruit, strawberry, pistachio, chocolate, mint. I've never tried a mint macaron, so I was like, give that one a go. Chocolate orange and another pistachio, because they're my faves. If anyone asks me what's your favorite food, the answer is macarons. They are literally the best thing, but they are so expensive and it literally hurts. And then we popped into Selfridges and obviously, Selfridges, all of the browns are really expensive. So I didn't actually get anything like clothes wise in there. 
but I was looking around at the makeup and I saw that the brand Cover FX was in there and I've heard so many good things about their primer so I think Harley Bybell uses it and I really like her YouTube uh, tutorials so I thought I'm gonna give that one a go and it is the Cover FX Blurring Primer and I've used it today and honestly it is so good I, I was walking around London I was looking at myself and I'm like I'm so so I'm really excited about this and re so far my skin does not look greasy at all. It's a blurring primer so it's quite matte and it just makes your whole face like poreless, literally. It's so good and also the lady there was really, really nice. So yeah, and it was really weird. Like she, she was like, oh, can I get your name? I was like, Grace, she was like, that's so weird. I was literally just gonna predict that your name was Grace and it was like a psychic moment but then it also could be that I look like a Grace which my mum reckons I do. Well, maybe because I am called Grace, but do I look like a Grace? I don't know. Um, maybe that's why she predicted it. I need to stop talking, I'm so annoying. Then the final shop we went into was Zara, my favorite. And may I just say though, this year, I haven't been 100% keen on Zara. Like, I will always go in there because it's probably my favorite shop. But this winter, <laughs> been a bit iffy with it. So I got these boots. And I don't know, I think I'm going to take these back. However, I wanted to show them to you guys in case you like them. I'm only going to take them back because I have something very similar to these. And my mum isn't keen on them. And I trust her opinion. So, yeah. But these, they are these clumpy boots. And they're really, really nice. And they have this buckle on them. Um, but yeah, I thought these would look nice with the dress I was about to show you. So I'm going to show you that in a set. And then I've got this gorgeous dress. I'm so excited to wear this. It's checkered and then it looks like this and it ties up into two black bows. I really, really like this and I'm really excited to wear it around London. It's like the perfect wintry dress and it's very, very classy. I really, really love it. So yeah. And that was everything I bought in London, obviously, apart from my designer purchase. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you go and watch what I got for my birthday. Um, I will leave a link down below to that. And subscribe to my channel if you are new. Give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, <laughs> stay tuned for my unboxing and try and guess in the comments what I got and where I got it from. I'll see you guys in my next video. I never know how to say bye, but bye. <laughs>